Hello, welcome back. Neil Young, you know, a couple of days before he gives us three albums, three bootleg editions, he just throws in a little box set. This is the fourth installment of his of his official release box sets. Now we get 13, 14, 20 and 21. Oh, maybe you can, yeah, I think that's, you can see it. Backside, here are the, fourth, the four albums that are in this box set. Those are 80s releases. Probably not a very easy period for Neil Young. And, and if I'm right, you hear a lot of criticism uh, uh, for that 80s period, in a way. If you go through the content of this box set, which we will do in a second, I tend to disagree. But first things first. Let's go through the content. Let's start with the hype sticker and see yet again. Ah, damn it. Yeah, okay. But the hype sticker, it says, the Neil Young official release series volume four numbered limited edition box set includes Hawks and Doves, Reactor, this notes for you and El Dorado. Remastered from the original analog recordings at Bernie Grundman mastering. So again, Bernie Grundman, probably Chris Bellman. Historically accurate artwork and the website of his Neil Young archive. That's what the hype sticker says. Then you get this little piece of paper, visit me and yada, yada, yada. And you can, <coughs> you can uh, subscribe to his personally written newspaper for $20 per year. Yeah, why not the newspaper? Okay, let's go through the content of the disc and talk about the records and the music. 1980, Neil Young, Hawks and Doves. You have the jacket, the cover art. All the uh, uh, records comes in very good poly lined inner sleeves. I, of course, exchange them to my archival uh, sleeves. I show you the label on the record and it comes with the original repress of the original inner sleeve. Yeah, Hawks and Doves 1980. Playing time under 30 minutes <laughs> and and you know, you have on side one, you have some leftovers from 74 until 77. And on, on uh, side two, you have stuff from 1980 session. And in my opinion, this is really a beautiful, your typical Neil Young folk music. Great stuff. I really do love it. And yet again, and this goes for all the releases, although they are incredible totally different and that's so beautiful when it comes to this artist his versatility his, his spectrum is is so huge it's almost unbelievable and especially in with these four releases in in the, you get in this box set that's stunning i put down uh, 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 links below if you are interested in that box set it's Unbelievable. He's such a great art artist, one of my favorite art artists, and, and as I said so often, an audiophile at its best. His releases are so accurate, so well mastered. The vinyl is, is yeah, audiophile vinyl. It's audiophile stuff. No complaints at all. Great stuff. Then let's go to the second album, the 1981 Reactor. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Here we have the cover art. And this is your typical, you know, rock, hard rock, the printed inner sleeves, original. Show you the, 
vinyl and the label. Great, great stuff. For sure, one of the of, of, of the of the great, great uh, Crazy Horse albums he did. Punchy rock, full throttle music. In my opinion, nothing what you can't laugh. <laughs> but that's of course it's always a question of taste. Don't get me wrong; it's just an opinion. And yet again, it sounds incredible. Very, very well remastered. Great stuff. The third one, and this is really not the highlight, but really, really, really interesting release. This notes for you, um, Neil Young and, and the Blue Notes. This came out in 1988. You have the cover art, the back side. And this is very uplifting, bluesy, extreme, yeah, blue, almost blues music, but, but with quite some people and, 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 and very, very uh, nice, uplifting performance. And again, it sounds incredible, huge sound stage, beautiful depth, great punch. But this, this go for all, all these releases. Oh wait, the inner sleeves, original inner sleeves we got here. Again, we are talking 80s here, we're talking 1988, where, where people really didn't like him, is my opinion. I don't know why, because this, again, is a great release. I mean, we are talking four records here. Um, I would like to find another artist with that output in the 80s and that quality. Of course, there are some, but why is this uh, uh, period of him so so uh, looked at sometimes so negatively. Yeah, maybe because of Harvest, you never know. Here you have the vinyl, the label. Flawless. And now for my personal highlight in this box set. Neil Young, Eldorado, Neil Young and the Restless. This performance took place in, in the Hit Factory in 1981. It's incredible. This is incredible. This one really was extremely hard to get. I don't know uh, if they do this one again as a single release. Extremely hard to get. If you if you want to buy it, you're almost at the price of the box set. If I'm I'm correct here, I'll show you briefly. I'll show you the label and the vinyl. Ah, this is a stunning release. Sound-wise, musically, this is bah, rock, grunge, a bit grungy in my opinion. Fantastic live recording, and in my opinion, the highlight of this gorgeous box set. If you don't have those single releases already, maybe you consider going into this box set. I really can recommend it, you know, but, but you have no pressure at all, in my opinion, because uh, there's only one, it, it's the fourth uh, uh, box set he did. The, one, the first is very hard to get, the other two and now three, no, it's not that, that tough to get, but it's absolutely worthwhile and, and, and absolutely worth the money. And yet again, I said it quite sometimes, I would wish that other artists have a look on Neil Young and, and, and watch the quality of his reissues, of his re-releases. They are outstanding. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.